Hi everyone, and welcome to another episode of I Told You So, and now I'm going to rub it in your face. So, you know how I've been making a few videos responding to Greg Desette about his Turkesterone claims, and I've been arguing that there's no evidence that, you know, Turkesterone works currently, and people who are claiming that it's almost as good as steroids, they're just full of crap? Well, it turns out they're even more full of crap than I realized, because it turns out all these Turkesterone supplements they're nonsense. They're bullshit. They're not actually Turkesterone, and it's all a sham. Now, this information is coming from Mr. You Are So Dumb on Reddit. He runs the company Nootropics Depot, which have their own subreddit, and they also happen to run their own ISO certified lab, where they did testing on Derek for More Plates, More Dates Turkesterone supplement, and they also did testing on Greg Doucette's HTLT Turkesterone supplement. Now, um, I originally found this out through Seeka Strength on YouTube. They actually did their own video uh, breaking down all the lab results, and uh, it's a really good video. I recommend you check it out. I'm going to link it in the description down below. They go into a lot of really good detail on the different testing methods uh, that Mr. You Are So Dumb did in the laboratory. I'm not going to go into super high detail about the specific testing methods used. I'm just going to give a more simple breakdown. So if you want a more uh, detailed breakdown, again, check out Seek a Strength's video. All right, so here is the Reddit post that Mr. You Are So Dumb posted in the r slash Nootropics Depot subreddit. And uh, he goes into the testing methods to test these Turkesterone supplements. What they used was a UPLC machine. What UPLC stands for is Ultra Performance Liquid Chromatography. Again, I'm not going to go into super specific detail on these testing methods. I'm more just going to uh, give a basic breakdown and go into the results. But if you want the more, you know, in-depth breakdown, again, check out the Seek a Strength video. So they, they used a ULPC machine, and what they did was they checked reference standards, and they often use multiple standards for extra verification on novel compounds like turkesterone. So what a reference standard is, it is a substance of a known quantity, known quality, known concentration, and they'd run that through their, mach their machine multiple times to make sure that their testing equipment is um, accurate and they can get reliable data. So they ran two standards, and what you'll find, he gives a link to uh, Imgur, on the results. What you'll find is there's a very almost perfect overlap with these reference standards. So uh, they know they're working with actual turkesterone and they know that their machine is accurate. So with this data, with the reference standards, they know what uh, an actual turkesterone sample should look like. So if they compare uh, Greg Desette's turkesterone supplement or More Plates, More Dates turkesterone supplement, it should show up similar in their UPLC machine. Now, what they also did is they ran a chromatogram of beta-ectysterone. Beta-ectysterone is very molecularly similar to turkesterone, and they just wanted to see what that looked like in their UPLC machine. So if we check out beta-ectysterone and compare that standard to the turkesterone standard they ran, very different. So in the chromatogram, uh, the UPLC machine, it looks very different. So if there are multiple different compounds like turkesterone and beta-ectysterone uh, in the same supplement, uh, you should be able to separate out uh, how much turkesterone is in there and how much beta-ectysterone is in there. And that brings us to some very interesting results. So if we click on the link here, this is the chromatogram of the Gorilla Mind, you know, Derek for More Plates, More Dates, Turkesterone product. And if you look at the results, there is a little bit of Turkesterone and a ton of beta-ectysterone. So according to this chromatogram, uh, this is more of a beta-ectysterone supplement, and there is a tiny, minuscule amount of Turkesterone. So what Mr. You Are So Dumb writes here is, you can see the two peaks of turkesterone and beta-ectysterone there. The retention times match perfectly to the reference standards they ran. There is turkesterone in there, however, there is only 0.44 milligrams per capsule. The label claims there is 500 milligrams of a 10% turkesterone extract in there, which should deliver 50 milligrams of turkesterone itself. This means there is 
0.88% of the label claim, or 111 times less than the label claims. So I've already made several videos about this, about how we need double-blind, randomized, placebo-controlled trials to see if tercasterone is actually efficacious. Um, because there's a lot of people posting online that, oh, I took Derek more plates, more dates, tercasterone, and I got bigger and stronger, and I grew so much more muscle. Well, we don't know if that's actually because of the supplement, tercasterone, or if it's just the placebo effect. And it turns out these people who are making these claims, oh, I took the supplement and I got bigger and stronger, they weren't even taking tercasterone. So I think this uh, somewhat validates my claims that you can't just trust anecdotes, even your own anecdotal experiences, because at the end of the day, you don't even really know what you're taking. Uh, these lab results, uh, if they are valid, and they do appear to be valid, they are apparently coming from an ISO certified laboratory, that people aren't even taking tercasterone, and they're claiming they're getting amazing results from tercasterone. It is ridiculous. Now, Derek from More Plates, More Dates has responded to the lab results and the criticism, and uh, this seems very shady in my opinion, and I think it's kind of telling uh, about what's going on. My initial, uh, my initial responses still stand. We've paid for third-party testing from Chromadex, company he mentions in his post, Avamine, ABC, as well as numerous others, and these are all companies that massive companies use for third-party testing. Uh, he links two images, we'll get into that in a second. If his results show different results than what we saw, and he claims literally every company in the industry is failing, and that's what his perception will be, it is what it is. We do our best uh, to put our uh, top quality products and do our due diligence using the testing companies that are used by other top manufacturers in the industry. So he links to two images. So one is from ABC uh, testing, and this is for his tercasterone supplement. And the other is again from ABC testing, and this is for his ashwagandha supplement. We're going to ignore that. We're just going to focus on the tercasterone. So for one thing, notice how in this post he said, we've paid for third-party testing from Chromadex, Avamine, ABC, as well as numerous others. So there has to be at least like, what, four different testing companies that he used to, te to test tercasterone, but he only links to one single test for the tercasterone. Where are the other tests? I don't know. This is also from uh, only from, from ABC testing, and the testing method used for testing this tercasterone supplement is UV-Viz, and Mr. You Are So Dumb in his Reddit post goes over why UV-Viz UV is a completely inadequate testing method. And here is Mr. You Are So Dumb's response to the um, ABC testing UV-Viz lab results that Derek for More Plates, More Dates posted. So what is up with the UV Viz test he posted from ABC testing for their tercasterone? Well, to start, ABC testing has a history of shoddy results and bad chemistry. So they have actually gotten warning letters from the FDA um, ju just criticizing their testing methods. Uh, their laboratories are run completely inadequately. The seriousness of the things that the FDA found can't be overstated. It actually resulted in drug recalls. The sad thing is, we would have never seen this data if they were not also doing drug testing. The reason the FDA inspected and gave this enforcement letter was because they were also doing some drug testing, and the FDA monitors that testing more closely. ABC mostly tested test dietary supplements, though. If they only stuck to that, we would have never seen this data showing the poor quality of their methods and systems. And he goes on to state, UV Viz is not a good methodology for the assay of plant extracts. It is just not. It has no chronomographic, chrono, chromatographic, chromatographic hard to pronounce word, separation like HPLC slash UPLC, so you can't separate similar compounds from each other. It's going to pass UV light through the same sample and give you a spectrum of whatever the mixture is. Anything that looks similar to one another in a sample will be listed as the total assay. Well, go back to the UPLC chronomogra uh, chromatogram from the Gorilla Mind Tercasterone, and what do you see a peak for? Beta ectosterone. Yep, the UV viz can't differentiate between those two chemical compounds, so the total it will give you is a combination of tercasterone and beta ectosterone in the sample. You need chronomographic, cro chromatographic separation to really see the totals of each. So basically, in layman's terms, if you didn't understand that, 
the testing method UVViz that Derek is using here to test his Dracasterone supplement cannot differentiate from similar compounds. So if you are a scam company and you're trying to trick people into thinking, oh, look, uh, we have a ton of, uh, you know, tercasterone in our tercasterone supplement, what you'll do is maybe sprinkle in a little bit of tercasterone and then fill it up with beta ectosterone and then use a UV viz testing method. Well, the UV viz testing method won't be able to differentiate between tercasterone and beta ectosterone, so it will end up showing up as if you have a load of tercasterone in your supplement. And again, just to reiterate and refresh your memory, Derek from More Plates More Dates claimed he used multiple different laboratories to test his tercasterone supplement. So he went to Chromadex, Avamine, ABC, as well as numerous others, so we can only assume that he went to four different laboratories for testing his tercasterone, yet in this post, the only response that he had to Mr. You Are So Dumb and these damning laboratory results was this junk test from ABC Testing, which is the laboratory that is completely unreliable. They've gotten warning letters from the FDA, and they used a completely inadequate testing method, UVViz, which cannot differentiate between like compounds like beta ectosterone and tercasterone. So what's going on here, Derek? Now, I wanted to be fair here, and I wanted to give more plates, more dates, Derek, and uh, Greg to set, we'll get to Greg in a bit, a chance to respond to some of this uh, to see if they could post any conflicting results. Uh, again, Derek claimed that he got um, adequate testing done from other reputable labs, so I wanted to wait and see if he'd end up posting any of that. Well, he didn't. At first, he used the excuse that it's the weekend and I can't get everything sent to me on a whim, so I posted what I personally, personally have saved for the ashwagandha and Turk. Well, it is now Wednesday. It's a few days out from the weekend. And considering this information could be incredibly harmful to his business, you'd think he'd kind of rush out and make sure that he'd have this information, you know, gotten to him. He'd make a post about this, maybe even a video to squash any misinformation that's going on that could harm his business, and he hasn't done that. He hasn't posted any adequate testing methods from any reputable laboratories that his tercasterone supplement is legitimate and it's not just bullcrap filled with beta ectosterone. So I can only assume, again, that Mr. You Are So Dumb and his lab has real results that are reliable and Derek is really just doing damage control here. And now that brings us to Greg Deset. Oh boy, was this juicy. So, uh, Mr. You Are So Dumb also is interested in testing Greg Deset's Turk Builder from HTLT Supplements, and they tested that one. Here is the chromatograph results. And as you can see, this is identical to the reference standard for uh, Turk and for beta ectosterone. This is a perfect overlap. It's just that, uh, as with Derek More Plates More Dates, tercasterone supplement, there's barely any tercasterone, and there is a shit ton of beta ectosterone. So, uh, Mr. You Are So Dumb's take on this is, you can see it's exactly the same situation. Small peak for tercasterone and a big peak for beta ectosterone. They claim on their label that there is 500 milligrams of tercasterone in each capsule. We found 0.78 milligrams per capsule. That is 0.0015% of the label claim, or over 641 times less than they claim to be in there. How much beta ectosterone is in the HTLT sample? We found 15.48 milligrams of beta ectosterone per capsule in the HTLT tercasterone product. So there is more beta ectosterone and slightly more tercasterone, but way less than claimed. This is not isolated to one brand, it's the entire market, and he just goes on uh, pointing out more brands. This is just a common thing. Uh, according to him, there is literally no tercasterone supplement on the market that is actually tercasterone. It is either a tiny little sprinkling of tercasterone and a ton of beta ectosterone, or... Uh, it's just beta ectosterone. So, what do you have to say now, Greg, after all that ranting and raving that Turkesterone works! Turkesterone works! Buy my Turkesterone supplement! I took it, I gained five pounds in a month! Other people have taken it! Jesse James West took it! He grew muscle when he couldn't before! He got stronger! Buy Turkesterone! Turkesterone works! 
Oh, well, what do you have to say now, Greg, when you're not even selling turkesterone? Jackass! Now, with all that said, uh, there is a very small chance that I could be wrong here. Um, it could be the case that Mr. You Are So Dumb on Reddit has inadequate lab results. It doesn't seem to be the case. Again, he's getting his results from an ISO certified laboratory, apparently. And um, More Plates, More Dates is claiming that he has adequate testing from reputable labs, but he hasn't posted that. Again, the only post that he has made was of the ABC testing, which is an unreputable lab. They've gotten FDA warning letters, and they used a UV vis testing method, which is completely inadequate. So it's funny that apparently he got testing done from f at least four different laboratories, but the only test results that he has on hand are from the crappy lab using a crappy testing method. So... Again, I could be wrong, but I don't think that's going to turn out to be the case. Uh, we'll see when all the dust settles, uh, what actually happens in the future. But like I said before, you have to be an idiot to buy tercasterone. Not only is there no human research supporting its efficacy that it helps to build muscle or increase strength, but on top of that, the industry seems completely corrupt. Your talk, and this shouldn't come as any surprise, not only is the supplement industry completely unregulated, but you're talking about a new exotic compound that has just come into the market, all the raw materials are coming from China, and it's very easy to fake. Like we've seen with these lab results, uh, people are just filling it up with beta ectosterone and then getting shoddy lab work done, and then it ends up looking like it's turcasterone. So uh, I, I would just wait and see till at least you can confirm that you're actually getting turcasterone and not some other product before you even consider buying the stuff. But even then, it's just stupid to buy it until there's actual human research supporting its efficacy. That's my advice, but uh, I guess you can do whatever the hell you want. Be an idiot. I don't care. Um, I'm just giving you the information. All the links to the information, like the Reddit posts, are going to be in the description down below. And uh, tell me what you think in the comments. Uh, do you think Tercasteron works? Do you think it doesn't work? Uh, do you think more dates, more plate, uh, more dates, more plates, and uh, or more plates, more dates? Uh. And uh, Greg Deset are lying and scamming, or do you think they're just caught up in this mess and they don't know what the fuck they're doing? Um, I think it might be a little bit of both. But, uh, as always, keep making those vegan games. What a relief. When will this poisonous product cease? This is another public service announcement. You can believe it or you can doubt it. Let us begin now with the cow. The way it gets to your plate and how.